Welcome back guys to Xenoblade Chronicles as last episode so much happened as with the way open to Prison Island our party headed inside to find the Emperor and try to save him from his fate and meet this mysterious Zanza who held the power of the Monado in his body able to unlock the shackles and give Shulk everything he needs. However with the Mechon interfering both Metal Face and Nemesis Face attack ending up with the death of Zanza. Or supposedly, as so many reveals have just happened, including certain identities. With well, the party now reeling over what's happened and having to deal with the realizations, we return back to Alchemoff, as it's time to explain when I knew. I've been looking for you. So this is where you were. Sure. Apologies. Was everyone worried? Of course. Me especially. Hmm? It's just... I've been thinking about Fiora. And I can't help wondering... Wondering what? You saw how Fiora acted. It was like she didn't even recognize us. Yes. It's unsettling. But Shulk, don't get me wrong. I'm not sad. Even if she doesn't recognize me, I'm glad to know she's alive. Dunban! You see, Fiora was born many years after me. And, not long afterwards, we lost our father to a Mechon. It was left to me to protect and raise her, almost like a father. I was always jealous that she had you as her brother. Ah, yes. You and Fiora used to be inseparable. Yeah. I need to tell you something. I always thought if Fiora were to be with anyone, it should be you. What? But Ryan hangs out with her just as much as me. Yeah, he does. But Fiora doesn't like him in that way. Oh. I see. He's a nice guy. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. All reckless and hot-headed. Probably why he's not right for her. Listen, Shulk. Yes? A lost life can never be returned, but she's alive. It doesn't matter that she's lost her memory. Yeah, I guess you're right. Fiora and I have spent our entire lives together. The memory of that can't have disappeared completely. It's up to us. We have to help her remember. Help me, Shulk. Help me get her back. You know I will. Okay. Let's go tell the others. Hey, they're back. Have you gathered your thoughts? Yes. Sorry to be a nuisance. Shulk? You too? Yep. All thanks to Dumban. I'm glad. Forgive me, His Highness Kallian summons you. You think something's happened? We won't know until we get there. So let's get there then. That's not going to be far away. The party's united, but it's obviously not going to let me just jump off right now so I can do the uh, probably long conversation because it's already been going like, how did you know back then kind of thing? Like, Or he's just saying he knows, so to play it cool. In that respect, I actually did tell people that I knew. I told people who'd played the game already, and I knew they played the game, and I knew I would spoil them. That I knew way back, just in case someone said, Ah, oh, he's just pretending he knew. <laughs> and yes, I can figure things like that out, and not figure out a darkness teleport. Because it's darkness. I've got to stay away from the dangerous stuff, you know? Have we actually got affinity with Galvin? Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for these guys taking care of Leclerc's missions for him. He was able to accompany me to confront that accursed beast. Thanks so much. I think Leclerc was waiting for you to get back. He probably is, yeah. But I've got things to do. I'm going to meet with the royal, the royal man. Before I can do a big long conversation talk. I told Silma. Still think you're pretending. 
I'm playing 5D chess with the chats. Do you know what? Let's just pause for a second and talk about it. I, I knew that Fiora was alive. Of course, I didn't know she was Nemesis face or whatever what was going on there. Because that wasn't a concept in the game yet. I knew Fiora was alive from pretty much just after she died. Because of the camera work. Honestly, this game... 100% the developers wanted people that could figure that wanted to figure it out to know within that one cutscene I'd like to like put it on screen and do like an editing thing where I could show you guys that there, there's stuff there It's the camera work one metal face weaponry It had you know the, the prongs the multiple prongs. We know who that is the game hasn't explicitly said it But it's hinted at it so many times that it's hard for people to not know who that is I still won't say the name yet just in case people don't know but even, you know, the game has implicitly stated who it is repeatedly at this point in time. As soon as, I, you know, you could realize that that's who it is. And this is part of the camera work. There were lingering looks on a certain character. Metal Face himself was going and looking at one individual in particular because there was a link and a heavy bond there. Which basically told me all I need to know between the weapons and that look, who that was, which then led to, well then, how is he a robot? Obviously, they can do something, the Mechon, with humans to make them thing. So when, of course, the Monado doesn't damage his metal face, you know that there is, and it works, and it's the only weapon that works on Mechon, you know that there's a human element involved, and that's most likely the block. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the developers meant for people to know at this point in time. So you leap from there and you look at the cutscenes on that time. Most of the killing devices aren't stabbing, they aren't lasers so to say. Most of it is that kind of capture claw. They are capturing people from Colony 9. They are taking them away. So and they, they might be dead but they're taking them, but they're taking the body. As soon as Fiora is killed and the mech chucked away, Free mech on with the same device, jump on her. If she's already dead, why would they jump on her? Why? There's no reason to. She's dead. Melface has killed her. Unless they need something, unless they're collecting something for later. So it's just, that was pretty much, that cutscene itself just basically said everything. 100%, I 100% feel that the developers wanted people to know at that moment because it's probably not the biggest twist in the game. There are more twists to come, like... There are more twists easily delivered. I just think the developers wanted people to know at that point in time. I wanted those who... find it hard to suspend their belief... the se sense of, uh, disbelief. To believe. I don't know. But, it's the camera work. It was a mixture of, like, what was going on that scene. It tried to deliberately show you what was going on, and... Just the mech on not working as a mechanic. It was kind of like put it all two and two together. It is kind of like it's hinted at, and it's it doesn't make someone dumber if they didn't realise it later. In fact, I envy those who don't realise and they can have that reveal moment and they can go. <gasps> but I knew that she was in Nemesis face when he was being put in because it doesn't reveal the face deliberately, because you'll know it's Fiora if they do. Uh and of course, I know that she, because they refer to her as something else, and what they most likely retrieved at that point in time was a body, even though they might have revived it. And the revival of those bodies seems to bring memories forward, as in Metal Face. They basically, what seems to be, considering they, I can't remember the name that it said now, but they've downloaded something else into her. So that's the memory block there. <gasps> And, to be honest, the game's pretty much excessively stated that as well, so I don't mind saying that. But this is also why I don't speculate, even if I know. I don't go, ah, oh, is this it? I don't want to clue people in so that I know really, really, really early. Though I did give some clues. Because it just sucks for a viewer to be told. Do you know what I mean? It sucks. So speculation in itself is actually kind of 
bad. You don't know if it's going to be a spoiler, even if you don't know it's certain for yourself. When you when you speculate, it it's the problem of possibly ruin it for others because you can't tell if the person knows or not. So that's why I don't speculate out loud on games pretty much all the time. I knew it was coming, and I knew it was going to reveal itself. And I knew it was going to be there, in a sense, because it pretty much showed us for the visions. But that's basically how it is. That one cutscene, the whole attack on Colony 9, tells you a story. And then it's kind of leading you through what I'd consider to be a first story arc of the game. Now we have a third participant, a third force, involved. And that's kind of the point, really. Now we begin a new arc. Things have expanded. The Monado has its power. It feels like it's designed that way, and the developers did want you to know. It's not being it's not like congrats on being smart either. I'd rather be dumb and experience the reveal as something mind-blowing and surprising as well. Fene. But it is definitely how I'd prefer to play games. But I, I really felt like the camera work in that cutscene, the camera work's so deliberate. If you go watch it back, the camera work is so deliberate. I know it wasn't to me, but I was using it. I know that thing was not to me. It's not about feeling smart or it's not feeling not. Just to be honest, when you figure out something early, you actually ruin it for yourself later. It's one way of looking at it. It's probably a negative way of looking at it. But let's move on. I apologize for calling you at short notice. It's fine. Is anything wrong? I must apologize to you all. Forgive our hubris. <laughs> we High Entia were arrogant enough to idly sit behind our defenses, safe in the knowledge that Mekonis lies a great distance from our land. And we were wrong. Our decision to ignore the Mekon assault on your homeland was wrong. Your Highness, does this mean... Yes, Shulk. We will face the dangers ahead together. Brother. Which leads me to my request. After setting eyes on a group consisting of Homs, Nopon, and High Entier alike, I realized an allied army must be formed. I ask that you act as ambassadors for the assembly of this force. Tell me your thoughts, Shulk. I need time before I make a decision. Does Shulk not wish to aid us in our mission? I do not believe that to be true. Then why? Shulk has... other people to consider. That wasn't like you, Shulk. I'm sorry. You know you can talk to me. It's Fiora. That's why you're hesitating. Yeah. Knew it. You wouldn't think twice otherwise. I... I just don't know. Find her, Shulk. Melia, I... I used to believe my father did not love me until the day he died. Oh. If you do not grasp the importance of loved ones until after they are gone, that is simply too late. You're right, Melia. I've made up my mind. I'm going to get Fiora back. You don't have to do this. I'll go and look for her myself. The burden should be mine. No. Onwards. I want her back as much as you. Leave the ambassador stuff to me, Shaw. I'll probably make a mess of it. But we're a team. You can count on me. I am afraid that is my duty, Ryan. I am of both High Entia and Hom's blood. I am the Crown Princess, and of mixed heritage. Thus, I am best suited to carry out this task. That means we won't... Yes. I will remain here. We must say goodbye. Is that what you really want? Yes, but promise me, when you find her, you'll come back. I'll be here waiting for you. I don't know what to say. Thank you.
It's probably a good idea if I go and tell Callion myself. I am sure he already understands. Besides, it's likely that the ministers are harassing him at this present moment. We should spare him any further inconvenience. Then... this is goodbye. Yes. Come back as soon as you can. We are in great need of your help. Got it. Listen, I'll keep an eye on Shulk for you. <sighs> Whatever can you mean? That's a risky strategy, letting Shulk go off and just hoping he'll come back to you. Shulk and I are merely... Yeah, yeah. But remember, the longer he's away, the more chance his feelings for you will fade. But... Once we find this Fiora, I will personally whisk him back here in a heartbeat. <laughs> Don't give up! <sighs> I appreciate it. Great. Don't worry, Melia. I'm on your side. Brother? Just on your way out, I see. It's not what... I'm sorry, Your Highness. About your offer. We must... humbly decline. I... see. Very well. Let us hope my sister does not shed too many tears. I stay because I must, brother. There's two Melias. Rhyme wrong. This Melia smell different. Yes. We need Melia to learn more of the lands of Bionis. But she is still bound to handle public matters. Hence, another Melia. Callion. Your Highness, Crown Princess, as your humble subject, I formally request the following. Speak. I request that you accompany Shulk in his quest to find the Mekon that attacked Alchemoth. Are you sure? Shulk, I am aware of everything. Go forth and follow your heart. There will come a day when we need you. But it is not today. Your Highness, that means a lot to me. That is one cool prince. If only someone had his sensitivity. Sensitivity? Well, I'm sensitive. Hmm, the jury's out on that one. That's a relief. We have recently received a report that the silver-faced Mekon fled to Galahad Fortress, the Mekon stronghold at Sword Valley. It will be a treacherous path. My sister is in your hands. Thank you, Callion. I will keep her safe. Regent, I accept your request. I will return victorious with Shulk. I am most pleased. Leaving without me? Do you want to come? To reach Galahad Fortress, you will need to travel through Valak Mountain on the right arm of the Bionis. The snow-covered mountains are fraught with danger. Those unfamiliar to them risk never coming back. Of course you would be familiar with that region. Then there's no point in wasting time. Leave the Allied Force to me. I am not known for my diplomacy, but call it pride. I shall succeed. We'll join you as soon as we can. I look forward to the day. Heroes of Bionis, make us proud. You see? Now we're getting some respect. We're back to this again, are we? See you soon, Callion. Right then, first of all, let me just say thank you, Natronimus, for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. And also for the kind words, because said to be honest, what YouTube streamers kind of live for, in a sense, to actually, like, have someone enjoy ya. Enjoy ya! As we continue on, this man, this man is one with a plan. Two Melias? Well, it's the easy way out, isn't it? <laughs> just have a, fa a face, a false one, for a little bit. 
After all, you don't get coronated properly until a year. Your, your brother releases his region anyway. Head out there. Go see the world. You get your stuff. You got it somewhat right. I got your name somewhat right. I tried my best. Oh, let's get on our way. Who knows where there might be more quests around. Who are you? I don't think I've spoke to T-Lamp. The glowing insect. I mean the gold caterpillar. Seems clear it's found somewhere on Lower Be Honest. I'm sure it's somewhere that any Homs would know about. Oh, you're the one I've got to give the gold caterpillars to. Okay, I get it now. Oh, yes, that guy. Well, let's uh, head out there. we got to head to the right arm of the Be Honest, but you know we've got a ton of... Uh, let us put it as things to do. So, yeah, d d no matter what, like... Uh, yeah, welcome to my mods. I see what's going on in the chat. No matter what you think on... Like, did I really know early on or not? I, I did tell mods. I did tell some people who knew. Just in case someone would uh, second guess. And if I even got to the wrong, the right place with the wrong theory, as in, like, I saw someone put in the chat, but they were, they, they said that Mechon feed on humans. But, you know, I'm saying they're capturing. Then, you know, sometimes you do get the right answer with the wrong working out. Which is why they get you to show that you're working in like tests and maths and all that stuff, isn't it? That's why they get you to, to make sure you're just not fluking it and you actually understand the subject matter. But I do think they want to fill things with hints. And I think that all good media should fill things with hints. Uh, it's nice when things come as a surprise, that's great and all. But the surprise is always better when there's actually been like breadcrumbs, a trail for you to follow in the past. That you may or may not have realized, you may or may not have noticed. I always think that's better, personally. But they do feed on people. Yeah, well... I haven't seen them, one of them going like having a Cheerios advert for human flesh. So, obviously not a thing. Right. Before my memory goes low... Before we move along properly. I'm going to pop back to Colony 9. Oh, you can't. They're all unavailable. You've got to leave through the front door, have you? Game says no. Game says no. Oh, yeah. Zord says he snacks on the people. That's obviously... That might be... I was actually just thinking that was, like, for the face ones. The face ones. Because they're different than standard Mechon, aren't they? That's how I look at it in my brain, anyway. So, just little things, little drip feed. Sometimes when you get a reveal, and then basically, you can, like, look on some kind of, like, thread online. And people will show you, like, that this, this, this told you, this told you, this told you, this told you, this gave you this aspect, this gave you this aspect, and it's all in the series. I always think that's the best kind of writing you could possibly do. But Alvis has now joined. Our we third will need party. to traverse Sword Valley if we wish to reach Galahad Fortress. If Colony 6 were in better shape, we could have taken a pod from there. How are we getting there? We will take the path down from the Bionis right arm. Sword Valley is where the arm meets the Mechonis sword. Aha. So that's our route. As I said earlier, it is a snow-covered mountain range. And you should expect a tough climb. Are we all ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Quite. First, we will head through Machna Forest. This short-range pod will be our transport. All aboard, people. All aboard. It's very posh. Right, am I forced to go that way or can I go and walk my own way? Of course, time quests are an issue. That is if I haven't already gone past that point. But to be honest, if I went past that point, I'm pretty sure a bit about I'd hear a million screams across the galaxy. My force sensitivity would tell me too much. <laughs> now they're still here. Well, we've done a fair few of them, but there's still loads to do. Gotta find this guy's kid after all, this lady's kid. Somewhere in the air of sea, somewhere, someplace, somehow. I mean, it's like Gara Plains. We have to explore the whole of this. There's gonna be secret areas and the whatnot. Let's see if it'll let me walk. 
Will you let me whoop? Yes! So I can go wherever I wish to now. Whatever I wish to. Let's go over to the gem man stool. Well, my memory is fresh. Although I still think I can remember things, because obviously I can't even remember that there's a blooming thing there that I can't go through. Idiot. How do I get around there again? I go through this way. Right, so I need to change the time of the night because, of course, Mr. Squeeze has been eluding us for some time. In the dead of the night, Mr. Squeeze always to be found. Over here. Unfortunately, he comes with a guy with an extra, extra quest. Who's this? I'm thinking of making some kind of trap for catching insects. I just don't have time to get all the materials I need. Will you help a guy out? One plate snow. One portion of. Is that where I'm going next? Maybe I can get plate snow, or do I already have it? Thanks, I can't wait to start building it. Nope, we got it. Quest done! That's question quest two. I haven't even looked at what we could do here, because it's not time quest. What's up? King Squeeze is finally found. I think I'm pressing our good friend Leopold for too much. The money he doesn't have? I can't deny it, but I'm an unreasonable money lender. I just want him to pay back the money he owes me. Is that so much to ask? You could do it if you just stopped splashing out on his girlfriend. Then his wages could go to, to paying me back instead. And then we'd be square. I gladly call the whole thing off. Oh. Once again, very nicely done. Of course. It's child's play getting men like him to spend all their money. They're in league! Good work, my girl. Here's your new orders. This much? Are you nuts? Why do you need him to get into this much debt? I think it's about time I got out of this game for good. I want that boy's house. It's in a nice area worth quite a bit. The infamous King Squeeze is packing it all in, huh? Alright, you got a deal. Expect a sizable contribution to your retirement fund. Make sure you don't screw this up. And make sure he doesn't find out. You would say that. You're the one who's looking to cash in. Leopold would never blame me anyway. He loves me. But you love him. What? What do you want? You can wipe that suspicious look off your face for a start. There's nothing going on here. I don't think it's a suspicious face. It's a kind of dopey face. Do I talk to Sylvian or to Leopold? To press Sylvian or reveal the truth to Leopold? Well, I'd reveal the truth to Leopold. This lady does not love you. This lady is fleecing you with the help of someone else. Do what is honourable and good. Crooked people all around, yep. Yeah. That's Desiree, eh? We already spoke to you, haven't we, Desiree? I may be pretty, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. I didn't say that! I'm always considering my future. It's just difficult since my dad passed away. I mean, come on! Hello. Why do I have this training bonus now? Probably supposed to be some of the skills. I don't know. I'm not gonna walk past to you and go, Ah, she's pretty. She must be dumb. Figures two short planks. That's what that woman is. Why would you do that? Right, let's speak to Leopold. I'm gonna reveal the truth. This relationship's a farce. It's ending. Yes? Hold on. You say Sylvian's been working for King Squeeze? Right on my nose this whole time. So what was their plan? Make Sylvian spend all my money so I have to borrow more? Then hit me up for the repayments? Nah, can't be. That girl's been a big spender since the day she was born. She would never spend my money to line King Squeeze's pockets. But if King Squeeze's business falls apart, wouldn't that mean my debts will disappear with him? What a plan. It's brilliant. Sorry, this is a bit out of the blue, but I need a favor from you. Can you get your handles of catapile poison for me? sure why you need that and couldn't you've just poisoned him in the first place after borrowing the money why did mine it what are you gonna poison her who are you poisoning yourself I don't know fake your death huh then distract King squeeze and secretly slip it in his pocket catapult poison sure I intend to arrange an interview with him for a fake article Something like Colony Nine's top earners of the year. You want to put poison in his pocket? We'll take the bait, we'll meet, and I coincidentally find the poison. He gets incriminated, loses face, and his business is finished. I never show his face around here again. 
Well, I kind of don't feel too bad about doing this, but what the hell, man? Yes. Lots of catapult poison. How am I supposed to go get this? Any of you got trade for? <laughs> be funny if she had catapult poison for train. That'd be great. <laughs> too much wishful thinking, I feel. Yes. What do you have for trade? Moving lizard tails. And those cool potatoes. So catapult poison. What the hell, man? Ah, yes! How do I deal with the situation? Yes, I'll frame him. We need poison. My brain does not obviously work the same way as some of these people. Where do I get catapult poison from? Didn't tell me exactly what I wanted to get them from. Where is a location? Catapiles. They're in Tefra Cave, aren't they? Interestingly enough, I didn't really kill any of them. So there's a catapult nest. Let's sort that out for the guy. It's so weird. Yes, I'll poison myself and claim the life insurance. Wait. Oh, God. Life insurance is a running joke from Becca. I snuff it, she gets to pay off the house, it's great. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't got life insurance, you probably should if you're like of age. You always want to leave your loved ones with something. Ah, oh, cute one! Backslash! Looks like we managed to survive. Who else wants some? Piece of cake! There's one poison. <laughs> Backslash! You never stood a chance. Oh! I can see this isn't pushing you at all. We got the gold caterpillars as well. That's kind of nice. Backslash. Got Without remorse, the cute one dies nice first. It'd be cooler if I killed Backslash. all the adult ones. Pretty good battle. Good thing I'm here. No? And then left the kid alive. Is it only the cute cat players that Backslash. actually give the poison? Taste the victory is sweet. Who else wants some? Taste the victory is sweet. We killed a youngin. Good job, me. Well, that didn't get me anything. So I guess I got to fast travel again and run back. It's oh, it's cute. Backslash. Yeah. Buckle up, guys. It'll be a bit of side quest time, that's for sure. We got so many on our list, and we got whipped away for this main quest instead of the lovely stuff. But at this point, I don't think uh, I don't. By the way, I don't have any prevailing theories for the rest of it, so don't ask me in that sense. It's just that kind of bit that I figured out more or less straight away. Backslash! Yeah, we got them good. I do I see this isn't pushing you at all. Have theories that come from number two. In a sense. Take this, we're the best! I can see this isn't pushing you at Some all. Some reason the back of these catapults isn't where I think it is. So I'm still looking for links there. Nice job. Let's not lose our heads though. Alright, that's four poison. Backslash! Backslash! Piece of cake! Backslash! Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? Take this! <laughs> we win! Good thing I'm here. No? Anyone? Let's press on. This ranger's going, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, I'm amazing. And he's not actually doing anything. One more poison to get. Well, there's there's tax. Well, there's, there's tax for dying in England as well. There's tax for dying else most places, and there it's inheritance tax. So that's a thing. Is that why I'm enjoying 40-hour games? Because I can't pick them out earlier. Pretty good battle. Oh, I just like Zelda 2. Now nice I like, want to play Zelda 1 because of that. And I'm enjoying it. Right, financial planning is sorted. I'm not quite sure how this sorts his finances exactly, but we'll figure it out. Bring his business to the ground, you don't have to pay the money back. I don't think that's exactly how it works. I really don't. Oh, he's moved on. I don't want any ether lamps. Huh. We got your poison. 
Five lots of catapult poison. We've got it. Okay, you want me to give it to... I'm confused. You want me to give it to King Squeeze? I'm the one... You want me to walk over to King Squeeze and just slip it in his pocket? It's not really what I'm up for. Let's send Ryan. He'll, he'll obviously do it the most stealthily. Biggest man in the world. Let's just send Riki. What's up? What's up? Oh, you again! I'm busy man, you know. Top is money, what do you want? Oh, I know, Leopold's too chicken to come give me my money. Hello, oh, anybody in there? Can't get a tug or something? You don't have anything to say, get on your bike. Go on, hop it. I'm imagining Shulk at the moment. Say, like, this is King Squeezy Man. He's just, just staring at him. Like, King Squeeze is talking to him, and he's just going like... Get it in the pocket, and King Squeeze is noticing the weird look. It's, like, it's going in there. Like that. He's not talking back, it just makes it seem really weird. You know what you say, get your bike, go on off it. Really? Okay. Huh. Not at all, like, how? How are you not super suspicious at that moment in time? The guy's not talking to you, he's come over for no reason, he has no business with you, he's staring at you in incredibly close proximity. What? When you're in a back alley as well, like, it, there's no, he's not going past you or anything like that. It's like, what? Yes. You hear the poison in his pocket? Right then, it's all set. I'll go and find it and make a big ugly scene in public. I can write the real story and expose A on his dodgy deals. And then King Squeeze is finished. I'm not quite sure we're helping out a nice guy now. You should have seen his face. Now he's off my back forever. I reckon things will be okay with my girlfriend too. I'll be able to write without <laughs> worrying about my pilot. So wait, he was like, "Well, I'm 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 satisfied with this woman who extorts me and tries to steal money at every point in time and is basically running me into debt to the point where she is actively trying to ruin my life. So I'll just sort out a situation where I can stay with her." Yeah, now you'll be able to write without worrying about my pilot debt. Cheers. The worst possible outcome has been prevented. I'm not sure it's a good one. Let's hope they turn over a new leaf. Thanks to Leopold's plan, King Squeeze lost his business and has disappeared. Job done, I guess. Well, now what happens? Like, their, their affinity's updated. I told a noble merchant called Dazza some info I'd heard. I was straight from you know who, so I'm not red pollen orbs. I can't say I understood it myself, but Dazza seemed really pleased. He was so grateful for the info, he paid me a handsome reward. So uh, now I'm rich, don't tell anyone. Right, let's look at the affinity charts. Wait, they are endless love. Got revenge. Accomplices, question mark? What? They have endless love? How? What the hell? Does he just want a trophy wife or something? Oh well, whatever, you guys. Yeah. Oh, that was a real gent the other day. He treated me to lunch. But he said my new articles just ain't buying enough for his taste. Can't really argue with him, to be honest. Oh, we got... No, there's still endless love, but now he's a fan of Arno. We, we linked more of the grid by doing a little bit of chatterooing. Well, ain't that confusing. <laughs> I should change party members for anything affinity related. Well... Mind is actually officially blown. No joke. Come on, Ricky. Ricky Tiki Tavi. I've spoken to you before, I take it. Whoever this is, it's right here, but I can't see. Yeah, sure, I have. It's curious, kind of like the A for lamps generates. It doesn't seem mechanical. They're very useful, the best buyers, they don't cause pollution. It is something worth researching. For the next part of our quest. That's... I can't understand, like, what kind of human being you have to be to be okay with all that situation. Honestly. It, it baffles me. I... Just... <sighs> Go on, Licky. 
Let's go over here, because we're looking for the weirdness that's gone around the place. Snellin is our quest point. Hey, you need to talk to me. Oh, the mysterious light. That's what we're on about. I want to see it too, but my mum said I couldn't go. Too bad it's gone now, but I think my dad knows more about it. Who's your dad? Talk to Arno. That's fine. I can do that. He's over by the, uh, the main bit, isn't he? Isn't Arno, like, normally here? Am I right or wrong? Maybe I should have looked at his timer. Or am I thinking of a different guy altogether? Nope, this is him. No, that's Andreas. Arno's here. Hello. I got the wrong person, but somehow got right. You spoke to her then? So what's the difference between now and when you spoke to her? Well, the time is different or the street lights are on? They're both the same answer, but this is so concise that this is probably what's going on. Exactly. It was an ether lamp. During the attack, some massive debris fell onto Central Plaza. It was blocking the way, so we pushed it into the water. And as you now realise, there was an ether lamp on the debris. It managed to stay lit even underwater. But the ether must have run out, causing the light to fade. That's all I know. What you do with this information is up to you. When quest text is too concise, we return to Kenny Rohan. Job mostly done. Right, it's best to find him at a residential area in the daytime. He's probably in next to the gem man stall kind of right now. I feel vibrations coming from downstairs. I'm pretty sure they're probably listening to a loud movie. I don't know if you can hear what it. What is it? Do you think it was a broken ether lamp? Well, you're correct. You've solved the mystery. Take the surprise in recognition of your excellent detective skills. Yes, another job done. We've got bloody raw. Whatever that is. A weapon. And another quest complete. Oh, Kenny Rowan has a new one. What is it? So we know where the lamp went out. Now for the real issue. Should we fix it or not? If we fix it, all we found comfort in this globe will be pleased. Although, on the other hand, the light is really just a light. An accidental light would be a captivating distraction on the road to healing. I think sentiment and emotion are stopping the moving on. That's why I'm interested in the decision to fix the lamp to you. Tell the hippon Ricky. Tell, tell, tell! If you do nothing, then the situation stays the same. The people will be forced to move on and overcome their pain. But if you fix the lamp, things will go back to how they were before. They will be distracted from their pain. For now, but not forever. The choice is yours, friend. I don't think fixing this lamp is that big an issue. I don't think it's going to affect people in the way he thinks it will affect people. Mend the lamp or throw the ether cylinder in the lake. How do I do both? Here, take this ether cylinder. If you want to do nothing, then throw the cylinder off the bridge. If you want to fix it, go to see Arno and ask him how to do it. Everything clear? Easy peasy, I hope I'll take care of it. Right, I'll help you out too. I feel like I just want to fix it because, you know, that's, you know, it's nice. Is that a good enough reason? Is it? I don't know what is a good reason anymore. Little did you know, the lamp is entirely consequential to the story. Better not be. What time did I set it to to have Arno walk past me? Was it seven? Where's that go? Uh, 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 uh. There he is. And another quest over there, which is the lamp itself. Hello. You want to fix the lamp? That's not going to be easy. You need an ether cylinder and two crabble fixed parts. I can see you've already got the ether cylinder. You just need to get the crabble fixed parts from junk crabbles. Bring me the items and I'll fix it. I'm interested to get a look at the lamp anyway. Sure, I'm guessing I don't have the Crabble parts. Where do I get two Crabble fixed parts? Oh, now. If I don't fix it, I get the bad ending. Not entirely disbelieving of you. Maybe I'm the gullible one here. Lamp is the final boss's weakness. I love lamp. All 
Alright, so there are crabbles in this area. I was about to say, can I reach the wall from here? Level 70 fish is gonna eat my face. Something in the water. Not a level 70 fish. Good news, good news. You're not crabbles. What the crabbles over here? Your birds. And there was me thinking I could do this nice and fast. Maybe they're only here at night. Why was I thinking there were crabbles here? Doesn't even be anything, does there? Maybe it's more during the day. Well, it appears I'm wrong in every way. Don't ask me why. Sneaky, sneaky! It's cute! You, re you really think you're a hero after doing that? Just saying. I've tainted you forever, young Lucky Pond. There are crabbles near that way. Maybe they're the junk ones. To get this quest at least done. But I've got to actually like search through Colony 9 to find more quests. That said, the level of it is level 3. So when you think about it, we're probably okay. Beach crabbles. I don't want beach crabbles. Maybe I should have just chucked the ether cylinder off the edge. It would have been phenomenally easier. Phenomenally! <laughs> Let's keep on going like this, guys. Yes, this battle become no pun legend. Ricky Sneaky, a victory for teamwork. Man, what a bunch of jokers! I was just hoping these guys would drop it anyway. I want junk crabbles? Where are they? Maybe they're higher level. I'm sure there was a different Crabble variation over here. Oh, well then I'm being an idiot. Now I've got the elusive hunt for Beach Crabbles. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and sort out the light, he says. I've got other things to do. He says. Only six should be fine for now. There's no quests going on there. What else do we have to do? Let's go to... Sator Marsh. Let's go get ourselves a pollen orb of the red. Just a little bit of walk to Zazadan. And we'll be sorted. Hmm. Why are you talking about food in chat? I'm hungry, man. A little bit of walking. We'll get there in a second. I wonder from the collecting, actually, have I done most of the stuff required for Collectopedias? He says, knowing that he has at least got the items for at least a few areas in the backtrack. It took me a while of searching, though, to get the items I needed, but I should have everything I need for Satul Marsh. Category complete there, which is why I was reminded by coming here. The Forget You Not, which completes Satul Marsh 100%. We get a pat for top. Not really needing that anymore, though, are we? Colony 6 required a serious anemone. That took a while to find. 
So we get a warrior plate there. And what else have we got? The high end to your tomb. Has some stuff to give us, doesn't it? A white tube there, a green diode, a spiral lamp. I need them for quests currently. We have to pop into there to get some more gathering stuff. So, we've got to get the spiral lamps from there, macro fashion, nine tasty sausages, that's high end your tomb completed. Which gets us a shell armor. Right, Alchemoth. Seems we sorted that as well. Ha 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 ha. Thunder Atmos. All the goodies I shall get. Muscle up free. A cool lemon and a heart peach. And a rare complete. I've got a gush shot weapon there. Now the air of sea, however, there's a lot more to complete there. So we'll leave this for now, because there's no reason to complete anything unless we have like tons of one item. Because you never know when we might need it for a quest quest. The Magna Forest has loads of stuff to give in. Dark mango, a pure cherry, a bitter kiwi, a juicy grape. We'll put the venomous lizard, the fossil monkey, which we have one of, which we needed for colony six stuff, I think, at some point in time. And an ash fox. All the goodies, a scarlet ladybird, a shield bug. I think I can do that? Yeah. A Hades beetle. And a benign cricket. As Magna Forest is complete. I've been collecting away, you know, guys. I don't know if any of those rewards are any good, but red pollen orb time. Oh, is this just in here? Sure, if I might be. Now, which of the brothers do we give it to? That's the real question, you know? If we give it to the hum the Nopon one, the Nopon goes off on an adventure in what seems to be dangerous times. If we give it to the human one, the human one should win anyway, so it doesn't need the red Nopon orb. Uh, pollen orb. So it's... I feel like it should be him that gets it, but I don't know. I just feel like it would be dangerous to go on an adventure at this point in time. We know life isn't exactly good around here. I mean, essentially, if anyone walks in and encounters a nopon at any point in time, they're screwed. And not a nopon! Yeah, if anyone. a mechon. Did I say Nopon? Or did I say Mechon? Now I'm confused. So he's here... Early in the morning or very late at night? I can't remember. Earlier in the night? There he is, Jalok. Let's give it to the human. You said no pond. Yeah, the no ponds might just kill you. No pond mech on. Why don't they do that? Hello. Did you get the red pollen orb? Do so you think I should have it? Man, he's sure to lose now. He'll have to give up on his dream. There's more to life than traveling anyway. I'll show him that we can do just fine here in Colony 9. You never chance. Here I go. I feel sad for doing this, though. There should be a middle ground, but there's no middle grounds. It's over. It took a while, but he submitted. He said he'll stay here, instead of leaving make a boat. I always say there's nothing better than living in peace with family. Jirok and Zukazu resolve their feud and live in Colony 9 happily together. I'm glad that at least they're somewhat happy then. Hello. Yeah, okay. The fight's over, it's just part of my daily routine now. It's better than end up weak and feeble, indeed. We fed it to the human. We have no upon Mechon. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I guess we do, don't we? Oh, another quest has appeared! Ah! Where is it? Oh, Zukazu! Long time no see! Zukazu would feel quite good since decided not to travel. He is not so bad in this colony, no. But there are one thing worrying me. Tell here upon Ricky. Tell, tell, tell! Man, you do talk big. But when it's time to do some work, you always leg it. What Rain talking about? Ricky have no legs! What? 
what, what, what does he walk with? Does he hover? He doesn't seem to fly everywhere. He, he has legs. He has little stumps. You can see them. That's what legs are. At the bottom for moving. He has no legs. This is a revelation. Keep on work hard and listen harder. Hit my granny pon. She adores Zukazu, but she no treat me like family. All because Zukazu no pon. Zukazu's so sad, she never wants to see me or play with me. If Zukazu has to stay here, he won't get along with Granny Pom. That's where Zukazu needs your help. Granny Pom only ever listen to what Julok say. But everyone in Colony respects you, so it should work if you try. You gotta help me. Right, collect three lots of maternal Amu milk from plain Amus in Colony 9. Thank you. First, Zukazu need maternal Amu milk, as in like the older ones, from plain Amus. They're perfect for making biscuits. Easy peasy, here Pom, take care of it. Easy peasy, huh? Well, I'll be there if things get a bit too hot to handle. No need for rain to help here upon. Well, maybe need a bit of help. And make her feel better. Then when she's in good mood, give Granny Pom this. An old ring. Right, do I have maternal army milk? Nope. But we know where they are! Hey, Minnie. I've talked to you already, haven't I? Yeah. I was 100% sure. This time. I'm gonna find these random crabbles, eh? I know where they are! Realization. See, that's my realization face. That's what you guys were expecting earlier. There better not be some kind of horrible monster ready to kill me here, honestly. That'd be terrible. Junk Crabbles, man! Charlotte and Ricky. Well, we're trying to build it. No, they're colony Crabbles! They leveled up, though, in the meantime. I so Man, thought this would be them. Jokers. No, no good. Sad times. I found the junk bunnets, I guess. Not to do with time of day, then. I'm sad. I thought I had the solution. Instead I had nothing. You didn't say Junk Crabble, right? How do you live that one hit? Level 8. Thank you, Ryan. I bet you do. I think I need some stiff hair. Oh well, let's go to the plain armies then and then be sad that it wasn't a crabble. So far I found it. I'm trying to remember. Do we have a bestiary? A bestiary? I'm the bestiary. That's why I like side questing, I can't predict them. <laughs> I'm not pretending to always, uh, like, know what's gonna happen before it happens. Don't get me wrong on that. That's really not what I meant by everything. But I feel like if things are somewhat well written, they are also figurable out. And I just think that's entirely what they were going for. A bestiary would be good, yeah. Because I've obviously fought one before. Wait, they're all babies here? Let's keep on going like this, guys. Where's your, where's your, uh, 
Where's your elder versions? Well, I can't do Ivy Quest while I look at things. Is Ricky some kind of super slow swimmer? That seems slow to a new degree. I didn't have to predict the ending from Bazaria. They told you what it was going to be. They told you outright how that was going down. Any junk crabbles? I suddenly feel like having Ricky at the head of the party is a very slow way to get around. I'm going to have to look for monsters, aren't I, at some point in time? Plains Army? Where have I seen them? I don't even know. There's not really much in the way of a plane apart from here. I don't think it was on the Cliff Lake, was it? I mean, you got the shore over there, but no kind of things linking to it. This area that's not been explored. There's so much we haven't done. Just had to give me another, another quest, didn't it? Well, it